Hello, and welcome to week two. I was really excited to see your introductions. I've seen those that are posted thus far and great to have you in the course. And for those of you who are PR or communication studies majors, please do feel free to reach out to me about any opportunities that I can share with you because I'm very familiar with the PR market here in the Inland Empire and other states as well. I've been in the industry for quite some time. I have a lot of contacts and I'd be happy to help give you a little bit of guidance or just kind of an overview. If you'd like, we can either meet by phone or in person or WebEx, but welcome to week two. Um, this week, you will be reading chapter three and you'll be working on a reflection and a magazine article review. And so this text is very interesting. I think I've mentioned that um, Friedlander is actually someone who I have had connections with. One of my dear friends was in his class. I've run into him at conferences, but he's a very good writer. And I think we can all learn from good writers. In fact, they say the best way to become a good writer is to read good articles, good books, good writing. So this week you're looking at chapter three, which covers the magazine article idea and also covers staff writer versus freelancer. So much of the magazine writing industry has gone into the freelance world now because magazines, you know, that so many of them are just online at this point. I don't want to say just online, but they've converted to online. So there are opportunities for full time work, but freelancing is very popular. And this goes through matching your interest to the correct publication. There is a book called The Writer's Handbook that, um, will really help it's, it helps with that as well i'm going to post a link to it i actually belong to this organization where you can online search for the types of magazines and publications that your writing would fit with so i will post a little bit of information about that for you but this is actually this chapter is helping you to get familiar with the idea of writing for a publication that goes with your interest for example um, if you're passionate about autism awareness, there are magazines that cover that. If you're passionate about travel or about education or literature, there are ways to match your interests, sports as well, with um, certain publications. Then you are reading an article, and this one is like something the Lord made by um, Katie McCabe. It's excellent. Reading these articles, I hope, will help inspire you as you write as well. Um, and... In chapter three, you have that article, and you also have Death of a Playmate, another article that is interesting, um, kind of dated now, but interesting. And yeah, and then you're then you go on to uh, kind of wrapping the chapter up there, talking about the next steps. So I hope you find this really interesting. And you have your magazine article review assignment as well as a reflection. And um, I have a little bit of faith inspiration for you there a link to some online magazines and 15 places for freelance writers to find magazine markets. Oh, I did post it. Okay. I was going to post this for you, but there it is. Um, I'll also post another source I have for that. So I am here to help you. I'm passionate about all things, public relations, journalism, literacy, writing, leadership. I, I love helping students though. It, from my doctoral dissertation, which I did in 2010, the themes emerged that students learned to write better when they had a mentor, when they had an internship, and they, when they worked for a publication. In that case, it was a student publication, but it can also be a freelance job. So I am passionate about mentoring. I can also connect you to internships should you be interested or give you some ideas on that. And, um, and I love working with students. And it's my passion to also pray for my students. If you have a need, feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to pray for you. So do feel that you can reach out to me during the week if you're doing the reading or an assignment and you just have a quick question. I respond fairly quickly and I'll be happy to clarify anything for you. Have a blessed week.